if you're using the factories mods on Farming Simulator 19, you're probably going to need to make some biodiesel at some point. So stick around. I'll show you how to do it. Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and today we're going to be going over the placeable factories pack and a little bit more in depth into the biodiesel plant itself. But I'd like to start off here by showing you this is what this mod looks like. So as you can see the image right here, and if we jump into it, you can see that it's by ER Shaba. It's two, or the uh, version is 2.0.1.0, and it's 18.57 megabytes. Now, I know there has been a lot of negative about this pack because it just didn't work right. There was a lot of confusion about how to use it, you know, the uh, production rate. There's, let's just give it a chance, all right? And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get in here. I want to look at it, show you guys how to use it maybe a little bit more if you are unfamiliar with it. And we're going to show you the rates, how fast it produces stuff, right? How is there a trick that we can do to maybe get a little bit more out of it? You know, what's it going to take? So that's what I want to do. Um, I'm sure you're, most of you are familiar with this mod from the rumblings and things that we've heard. But if you're not and you're new and you're checking this out for the first time, let's go ahead and go through the description here to understand what's going on with this factory spec. So it says, first, the placeable factories pack has been created for console gamers so that their gaming experience go a little further. And that's awesome. ER Shop, I wanted to bring something to console players, Xbox and PlayStation, similar to what PC players had on like Global Company and some of the other mods like that. Now, important note, this mod can only be used together with compatible maps. And at the moment, it will only be available for the maps, the Old Farm Countryside, La Quinella, and La Quinella 2.0. Now, there have been other maps. ER Shop has released some, there's uh, Chamberg Valley, and Vanquish has released some also. I'm going to be using Westbridge Hills. That's the map I'm on right now. I really like it. It's an American map, so if you're an American player, you definitely have an option. Uh, European players, you have a lot more options. Um, but all the maps are great, and just pay attention in the uh, description of exactly what it says about factories. Some maps only use certain factories. We're looking at the ones by ER Shaba right now. There are other ones out there by Vanquish. There are some possibly out there by other modders too. And just pay attention to what the map says. All right, that's going to be the biggest thing is just the little details on these descriptions that tell you which maps they work with or if it's a map, which uh, mods they actually work with. So not everyone is going to be able to work everywhere. So keep that in mind, please. Don't open up a map that just came out that has nothing to say about it and be like, hey, this isn't working, it's junk, I'm going to get rid of it and never play it again. Just please, please pay attention. Um, use it only on the maps that it says. And there are, there are quite a few out here. So, all right, next thing, important. Keep in mind that the game is limited to 10 animal stables. Now, the reason that is important is because these factories are a part of the animal system. All right, because you put stuff in, you get stuff out. Just like an animal, you put food in, you get product out, or you get manure, slurry, whatever like that. These factories work the same way. So imagine that your fuel or your sunflower seeds, right, are food going in. The animal does its thing. That's the factory system. And then the milk or the manure are your outputs, right? So it's going to be your biodiesel. It's going to be your oil. It's going to be your potato chips, your soda, that's the way this system works, all right? So please keep in mind that you can only have 10 maximum. And they go on to recommend that you only have eight. If you're reusing animals and factories, they recommend eight. You're, you should not see any problems with the game crashing um, if you use only eight. Some of you may want really, really big farms and understand, you know? So you may just have to compromise. If you wanna use the factories, right now the way that they're working you may just need to compromise a little bit and you know try them out if they if you're really not into them again then go with your animals right but if you want to try them out maybe don't run animals at the same time maybe just have a factory only uh, map so if you're not running any animals though they also recommend that you have no more than six factories so i i recommend running six factories I wouldn't go over that. I think there's a lot of processing thing that's going to, with the engine the way it is right now, it's just not set up for it at all. So directly from the modder, 
I wouldn't go more than six factories ever. And I wouldn't go more than eight total units if you are running animals too. So um, it also says sell stables and factories pre-installed on the map that you are playing on before placing one of this pack to avoid mistakes. I also recommend saving your game before proceeding to place a factory to avoid losses or progress of the game. So just like with landscaping, uh, always save right before you're going to do something here. Just in case there is an issue, you can always go back. All right. So like I said, we are going to be looking at the biodiesel one today. There are more. There are actually, let's go down here. Factories in this pack include cheese, flour, sunflower oil, laminated boards, potato chips, sugar, soya drink, barrels, and biodiesel. We're going to be looking at biodiesel today. And yeah, let's jump over into it and take a look at it. All right, everybody, here we are in the gameplay. And you can see this is what the factories are going to look like. Almost every single one of them looks exactly the same. And you can tell what they are because they're going to say it up on the front or up on the top and here on the front also. So what you're going to have to do to be able to start it is you have to come around. Well, actually, what do you need to do to be able to put it down? Let's go ahead and look right here in the animal pen section. Once again, you're going to come across until you find the one you want. And we are putting the biodiesel production down. So you're going to select it. You're going to find a slot that you want, wherever it's going to fit at. I don't think I have a good spot here. But it's you're going to put it down, just like you would any other placeable. All right, we've already got two of them here. As you can see, we have one over here. Oh, is it going to let me go right there? So, yeah, you may be able to do that. But you're going to put number one. And we've got a second one. And there's a reason for that. And we're going to go over that here in just a couple minutes. But what you do, you come over here to this side. Okay, where there's this other sign over here. It looks like a garage door and then a smaller door. So you're going to come right up here like you would an animal buy point. You're going to hit your L3. And then it's going to say new over on the left-hand side for $15,000. Yes, it's going to cost you more money to be able to use this, but you need to do that. So you go ahead and you hit confirm now. So there you go. Now your animal pin is working. And where do you find what you need? Well, you're going to hit your options menu and you're going to come across to animal pins and as you can see right here productivity you can see it's got a one next to it but it's zero percent all right and in the middle section it's going to say productivity and then compost and biodiesel okay on the right hand side it says conditions which is diesel and food which is canola so your conditions is like what you needed like cleanliness and um, water things like that for your uh, animals in straw, right? That gave you your um, your byproducts, okay? And your food, well, that's what you need to input in to be able to get those outputs, which are your conditions. So what we need is canola and we need diesel. Okay, so with those two things right there, that's what it's going to take to be able to produce the uh, biodiesel that we need. So fortunately, I have a lot of diesel already over here in these tankers. So we're going to go ahead and fill it up. And we have food right here canola that we're going to put in here so first let's go ahead and hook up to our diesel now this is regular diesel okay and what you're going to do is we're going to come through pull this tractor up and any trailer will work as long as it takes diesel all right so we're going to pull up and right here we're going to back up into this uh, rectangle that you see here and as soon as we're right here, see how it gave us the trigger to unload? There we go. So we're going to start unloading. Now I'm going to turn this off. It's going to do its thing. While that's going, I'm going to run over here and grab food. So we're going to fill this entire thing up with canola. All right. So we're going to come across right here. So that's going to fill up completely full force. And then we are actually going to dump this right into this area right here. This is where all of your food is going to go at. So your inputs. Okay, so we're going to let this fill up just a little bit more. If it's not quite there yet, we'll go ahead and stop. Well, let's go ahead and get to 50 at least. So we're at 44, 47. Ooh, I couldn't get much closer than that. So we got 50,000 liters in here right now. I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to take, but we can at least start with that. So once again, you're going to come around here. You're going to back up to it. Or if you got a side dump, you could do it that way too. We're going to fill this area right in here. I'm trying to turn. It wasn't doing it. A little bit of a bump right there. 
All right, so you got to be all the way back into that once you start unloading. So watch what's happened. It's really, really cool, the animation on this. It's going to start filling up for you. All right, so once this is done, we're going to take a look at our inputs again to see exactly where we're at. All right, so we're good there. How much do we have here? And we're full there. All right, so we had 25,000 liters of diesel, and we had 50,000 liters of canola. So let's come back over here and see. So on diesel, we are absolutely, completely perfect. All right, it's only going to take 25,000. So next is going to be the canola. And as you can see, at 50,000, roughly, we're not quite halfway. So we need to put another uh, 50,000 in here. All right, so let's run over and do that real quick. And I'll be back once we have this full. And then we're going to look at something else. All right, so we got everything going. We're good. If we look over here, we can see that we put two, uh, 25,000 liters in and we had 100,000 liters in. And what we did is we advanced time just a little bit so I could show you guys exactly how long it takes before you start actually seeing some of your product coming out. As you can see, we have three liters of biodiesel. We have 12 liters of compost down there in the bottom. All right, so what that means is that right over here, you're going to start seeing pallets appear. Now, I did not put this here. It automatically appeared here right now. And you can also see that up in the top, we're at 1024 now in the morning, and it was about 954, 955 when I got done. So about 30 minutes now, and we can see this pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance time a little bit more, and you're going to see, boom, right there. This is what your biodiesel is going to be in. All right, so we're roughly 30 minutes in and we have our first barrel, but how much is that? Well, that's only nine liters. All right, so it is going to take quite a while to be able to get this. What I recommend is playing on a faster speed. Okay, um, turn your speed on your crops down to slow and just sit here and go through a few days. Uh, if you're playing seasons, maybe do a little bit longer days, but play on like five or ten times speed. That way you're going to be able to get through your items and your production right it's going to be faster but you're still playing the same amount of time if that makes any sense you physically are playing the same amount of time but your game is going at five or ten times faster than what you are so your production is going to seem like it's five or ten times faster so pretty good little i think a good tip but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and speed up time and just let this thing eat okay we're going to see how long it takes to get a full pallet and then how many liters that actually is Okay, so here we go. All right, so right here you can see that we've already had our second barrel show up. So if we jump over to here, you can see that we're at 462 right now. I tried to grab it as quick as, quick as I could. So I think somewhere right around between 450 and 460 is where you're going to see the second one. And there's six of these in here, but once we get to a full one, we will then come back and show you that. But I told you I wanted to stop here at the one, but we're going to go all the way through six. So I will see you guys when we have a full basket here. All right, everybody. So it's it's about 8.30 at night. And as you can see, we've had our second uh, pallet here start to be uh, added to. So what that means is that this one is completely done. It's all the way full. It's ready for you to use anywhere. Now, you could take any of these at any time and take them. But this one is completely, completely full. And it's really interesting. When you look at the menu here, you can see that it doesn't show up any longer. It started back over at Biodiesel over on the first one. Now, I was sitting here watching it. Okay, and what had happened is it got all the way up to 2,500 liters, and then it didn't show anything else going up, and then it switched over to a new one, and it dropped back down to 25. So, as far as I'm aware, this is 2,500 liters of uh, biodiesel right here. Okay, so the interesting thing is biodiesel is needed in all of the other uh, factories that are in this pack. So we're going to take a look in a little bit of how much those other ones need on later videos all right so yeah i mean from what 9 9 30 this morning to 8 30 now is how long it take to make one pallet so 11 hours to be able to make a pallet and it's only 2500 liters so it's not great on the production rate but like i said if you play at five or ten times speed then you're good to go so speaking of production rate one thing that we can do all right is we can come over, and I'm going to go to this one over here. Even though it's dark, I don't want to speed up time right now because that one is just going to start going crazy and cranking it out. But we have another factory over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this one. Okay, We're going to hit our dialog box again. 
but I'm going to hit move for one, and then I'm going to hit move again. Okay, so now I have two over here. And if I try it a third time, it says the pin capacity is already reached. Okay, now let's confirm. All right, perfect. Now, let's come over here and look at this. What do you see about this one now? Oh, it has a two. All right, this is one, and this is two. Now, it's not because it's uh, number two factory that I have. No, the productivity is now at level two instead of level one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up time through the night, and we're going to get to morning time. All right, and then I'm going to fill this thing up completely full like we did the other one. We're going to look at the values of how much it'll actually accept, and then we're going to start looking and see how long it takes to fill up one pallet again. All right, so we're about 11 hours on the level one productivity. Okay, so let's go ahead and sleep through the night. I'll be back here, have it full, and then we'll be right back. And here we have this one full too. So don't forget, this is our uh, production level two, and this is production level one. All right, so let's see how much that is. So here on two, it's 50,000 liters of diesel, 200,000 liters of canola. We are good to go. We've already got some compost stacking up somewhere, uh, but the biodiesel, we don't have any yet. So let's go ahead and crank up the speed and see how long it's going to take. Now it is 9.08 right now. Okay. So we're going to go here. Boom. There we go. We're at 120 speed. I'm going to do this. See how long it takes for a pallet. Oh, we already got our first pallet. That was quick. So I'm going to see how long it takes to get this completely full and then we'll be back. All right, everybody. So here we are. We got our second pallet pallet just started off if we look here we can see that we're about 53 liters into it so it is now uh what is it uh 4 30 in the afternoon and we started this about 9 30 so what is that uh seven hours seven hours it's taken to be able to get this instead of 11 so that's a lot better it's not quite double right or uh, half as fast but seven hours is a lot better than 11 when you're talking about this. So you're going to be able to do about, what, three and a half pallets, roughly, in a day if you spend an extra 15000 to be able to increase this productivity. So I think that is a really, really good good idea to do. I and mean, you're already spending fifteen to get it at the ones. You just spend another fifteen to do this. So that's, um, that's going to be how you uh, produce it. Now, a really, really interesting thing is I want to show you how you can transport it, okay? And you can come over here and you can use pallet forks just like normal, pick it up, or you can use like the big bag handler, be able to pick it up that way too. But there's another mod that ER Shaba has uh, created, um, and it's really, really cool. Um, let me go grab it, and we'll be right back. All right, so here it is right here. It's called the Autoload Platform for Factory Pallets. It's $3,600, and it's going to be used with an IT runner setup. So when we come in here, you're going to be able to select it, and this is the one that's going to work with uh, bio uh, diesel. So you just come over here, and you select the one that you need. So it takes a minute to be able to cycle through them, but you can have each one of these set up for each individual product that you're running. Or say you're running biodiesel today, you run over to your shop, you switch it out to one of the other ones, and it's not going to cost you anything. You're just switching between the configuration, right? So you can have these on there. Now, I can color this any color that I want to, right, all the way along here. So that's what I've got, and this is what it looks like right here. I've got mine painted nice and silver, and you can see that right here we have it configured for biodiesel. Now, you are going to need an IT runner set up also, uh, whether that be a trailer or a truck. I'm using this awesome truck right here until another option is available. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to extend your arm to be able to pick it up. It's going to go down. It's going to grab or get close to where it, uh, it needs to be at. And then all you're going to do is attach it like you normally would anything else. And then you're going to pull it back on top. Pretty simple. So, and like I said, this is an auto load um, apparatus here. So the cool thing about it is you can see that now I am on that implement, okay? Up at the top, you can see that I'm on the back piece of equipment and there's nothing that I need to do to be able to turn it on. So as soon as I come over here and start driving across this or driving by this, watch what happens. See how it starts to fill up? It's gonna show me exactly how much I have. 
So right there, 2,500 liters is each pallet. And if we come across, we're going to be able to see. Now, the interesting thing is it's not showing up on here. I was under the impression that it will, but it doesn't look like it is. But the good thing is you can see how much you have down at the bottom. Okay? So we're going to keep filling this up all the way. So you can see that we're going to get roughly four of these pallets on here. Oh, yeah, so four pallets is going to be uh, half. So each one of these big containers... Uh, like this is gonna hold 20,000 liters all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and back up to the rest of them get them completely full and then we'll be good to go to uh, start on the next round of production so this is all there is um, we're gonna show in some of the other videos how to use this in some of the other plants okay but I just wanted to go ahead and get these going right here we're gonna make a ton of this stuff so I've got it for the other ones because I'm honestly uh, curious to know how much we need so I may leave one of these over here and just start bringing the other ones over um, as we go but I mean that may be a, uh, a strategy for you too I don't know yet we're gonna figure that out and determine exactly how much is needed for all of these other factories so come back for uh, future videos we're gonna be releasing them here really really soon and um, we're going to be going over all the other ones that ER Shaba has created. Then after that, we'll get into some of the other factories that Vanquish has been able to make. So, even though it doesn't show physically on there, we have 20,000 liters in here right now. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, go ahead and hit the notification bell, too. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them down in the comment section right now. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.